Welcome to Joyful Christian Living with Vic and Eva Zarley. Lovely wife next to me. The purpose of our podcast to encourage viewers to draw nearer to God in these troubled times. That's what our purpose is. We believe we are in the last days and that the return of Christ is very close. We believe this not only because of the increased wickedness in the world, but also because the many advances in technology is making the incredulous and terrible prophecies of the revelation to John more possible. We believe that the saints need to be better equipped to face the horrors prophesied by Jesus in scripture, especially in the West, where life has been relatively easy for most people. The church in America is just beginning to be persecuted in earnest for the faith. We hope to give sober encouragement to the body of Christ, which will likely experience the time of trouble foretold in scripture. Some of those places are Matthew 24, 21 through 22. For then there will be great tribulation such as has not been seen since the beginning of the world until this time, no, nor ever shall be. And unless those days are shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. We also see in Mark 13 verses 19, for those days will be a time of tribulation such as has not occurred since the beginning of creation which God created until now and never shall be. And finally, Daniel 12, 1, quoted by Jesus, and there will be a time of distress, tribulation, such as never occurred since there was a nation until that time, and at that time your people shall be delivered. Amen. Amen. As we, as we have mentioned before, uh, the goal of our podcast is not to be another political commentary as there are already so many out there with better knowledge and resources than we have and and that's just not what we wish to do uh, instead we prefer to help those who know and love Christ to be encouraged in the faith so they are looking for the return of Christ our Savior because uh, we can we need to make stands where we can for righteousness and, and justice um, but I don't think we're going to stop the freight train of evil that is descending upon the world right now because Jesus said Satan is like a roaring raging lion, lion on earth seeking whom he may devour. He's a lying lion He is a lying lion <laughs> He is a liar, thank you what You <laughs> just <saved> said me. <laughs> <laughs> what a wonderful man. Yeah. <laughs> he saved me. Um, wow. Yeah, he is a raging lion, and he's seeking whom he may devour. And his tactics are lying, deceit. And we're going to have deceit like we've never seen before. Already with the Internet and, and AI, you cannot tell the real no. from the unreal. And it's, it's just going to get harder, folks. And if we don't have spiritual discernment, if we don't learn to hear the Holy Spirit speaking in our hearts to us, we're going to be deceived. We're going to be deceived, all of us. And so that's why we must humble ourselves before the Lord and seek Him out and seek the Holy Spirit's advice and and watch everything we think and, and, and watch and listen to and hear and believe because... Uh, um, there's just no end to well, the onslaught. We need to try to stay off the, uh, what is that wheel called? It's a mouse wheel. What is that called? Uh, it's something that where the, the hamster, hamster, hamster wheel. We need to stay off the hamster wheel because it's so easy to try to fix every single thing. And the world is getting more and more confusing, especially with, as Eva said, AI. We can't tell the difference between almost between good and evil you can't tell what's going on and I don't think it's our job to tell what's going on our job is simple it's to listen to to the to the Holy Spirit within it's to 
uh, to, to become attuned to his word, not only the Bible, but his word in our heart. This is why we must stay focused on, on what will work and quit trying to take care of things that won't work and that we need to fix this and we need to fix that. We may refer to a current event going on that might have relevance, but we're not going to dwell there. We're not going to linger there. Uh, we're not going to react in indignation, which I often do when I see the news, so I just have to tell Vic, turn that off. Even conservative news is uh, frightening and what? discouraging if you listen to it. And my advice is not to listen to it. My advice is to open your Bible and get in the Word because there you'll find hope and encouragement and refreshment and uh, faith and courage and strength and all the things that you need to get through what's coming, folks, you are not gonna make it if you don't knuckle down and focus on the Lord, so on the Lord himself. We're not asking you to bury your head in the sand. We're asking you to bury your head in the Word because it is in the Word where the true answers are. Not it, We're not saying to ignore everything, but it's possible to see it and then Turn it over to the Lord and, and pray. And pray. Pray. We we fight these battles on our knees because we're not wrestling against flesh and blood, but we're wrestling against principalities and powers of darkness that exalt themselves in high places. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities, powers of darkness, uh, evil evil presences that exalt themselves above the Word of God in high places. And so we're dealing, we're up against demons. And you're not going to fight demons with your fist mm -mm. or with your indignation, with your political prowess. You're going to fight them on your knees in prayer. You're going to fight them. The only, the only weapon that we have, everything else is armor for protection. The only weapon that we have is the Word of God, and that's our sword. And, and so we can fire out what the Word of God says. Don't believe the lies, don't believe the lies, don't believe the lies. Every lie that comes at you, you just counteract it with the truth, which is God's Word. That's the only thing that is the truth. And everything else is uh, smoke and mirrors and sleight of hand. So I, I just want to encourage you to, to know that, believe that, understand that, and walk in that. So. Um, For those who only believe in materialism and only believe in what you can see, it can be very confusing. And so I do want to sort of emphasize what Eva just said about demons. And, and if that bothers you, uh, there are mysterious things that happen. There are uh, evil coincidences that occur. There are times when you feel a heavy spirit within you. That is demonic. That is something that is not for a child of God. A child of God is living in a freedom given to us by Jesus, by His Spirit, by, the, by Him indwelling in you, by Him occupying our minds and our hearts, and which can only happen when we effectively study the Word, effectively take Him in and take in the Word and, and dwell on the good and the positive and the joyful, the things of the Spirit. We, we have just gotten, and I've been guilty of listening to all the latest news from all the latest conservative sources. And I don't know about the rest of you, but I, I'm just throwing my hands up. I'm just saying, my gosh. This is so crazy, this is so confusing, so chaotic, and we know who the author of confusion is. And I don't want any part of him. I don't want any part of him. So uh, I will evaluate things as best I can, but we can't even be sure what we're hearing anymore. Mm. And uh, so, the, and the latest thing, these Olympics, mm. That, that's just horrible, folks. We, we know that's horrible, but we need to understand that's the world. That's the world. And the world right now is walking in the worst corruption and deceit that I have ever seen in my uh, 66 years of life. <laughs> and I don't, I don't like it. 
and I know that things are just rolling. They're snowballing fast and furiously. And we're, we're just facing an avalanche of evil. And there's no way to fight that except by faith in prayer, uh, spiritual warfare. We, we need to do spiritual warfare. We need to understand the times that we're in and the challenges that we're facing. And, and know that Jesus said, rejoice, be watchful, look up, for your redemption draws nigh. It's coming, we're gonna be in eternal bliss if we can just survive the times of trouble ahead. And I don't know how deep into the tribulation God's people will, will be. I don't know why we would think we wouldn't have to be tested for a season. I don't know, you know, the early church went through so much and we've gone through so little that I just don't know why we would be so naive as to think we've got no testing coming. I think we do. But in my heart, I'm hoping, you know, Jesus said those days will be shortened for his elect. So I have great hope that we won't be through the whole thing. We need to stay in prayer. And even though this is the middle of the podcast, I want to lead us in one. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the strength that you bestow on your children. I thank you for the peace and the joy that can blossom forth from within. And we don't look outside, Lord. We don't look outside in the world for our peace or for our joy. We, we stay focused on you, and we thank you, Father, for the tremendous uh, strength and peace and joy that you give us, even as we don't come to a close right now, even as we continue with the podcast, we ask that you give us words to strengthen the, the body of Christ to, yes. and to encourage the body of Christ. This is what we need to do uh, for each other, and we thank you, Lord, that that you give us the words and give us the desire to uplift our fellow Christians and to pray for those who are not part of the fold. In Jesus' name, amen. I'd like to give a little word on prepping, just a little bit of advice on prepping for the end times and the tribulation. And it's not about stock stocking up food and supplies. It's there's only one safe place to be, and that's in Christ. That is under the shadow of the Almighty, under His wings. There is no other safe place. And you can have all the food and all the supplies you want, but somebody can just come in, pow, <laughs> and take everything you've got. So all you have is an enticement for criminals to come for what you have. And I'm just thinking, why not? Prepare by praying. Prepare by praying and hiding the Word of God in your heart and memorizing it. The name of the Lord is like a strong tower. The righteous shall run unto Him and be glad. Be glad in the midst. Rejoice in the midst of it all, knowing that our time is short. And there's nothing of this world that holds our heart but Him. That's all we need. That's all we want. And you know, we may not have medical care, access to any kind of medical care or anything, folks. Everything, we've been so reliant on the, on the world instead of the Word. And we're going to need the Word. We need to rely on it. If you take the L out of the world, you have the Word. And uh, so I just wanted to... Take the L out of it. <laughs> <laughs> let you know that... And that's just the truth. It is the truth. And and if you have if you find that you don't have time to pray, that your life is so busy and that there's so many things you need to take care of, then you have to be very creative. And there could be time when you're driving in your car that you can turn the radio off or turn off the music for a while and dwell on on the the word that you got this morning out of the Bible. What, what was it? What, did, what was uh, John saying? What was Peter saying? Uh, there's so much wisdom in the Word. Wisdom that can carry you through the day. Uh, that's, that's the true preparation that you need to be doing. All you preppers out there, and I've been one, I've been guilty of that. Uh, I really don't have a stockpile anymore. I'm just 
I ate it. Yeah. <laughs> he did. <laughs> he I'm did. Sure, I'm sure if it was around, I ate it. i got to lose weight. So. I'm not worried about it. I, I, we're not worried about what's going to happen to us because all they can do is take our lives. And our lives are not our own anyway. Our lives are His to do with as He pleases. And... I hope I don't have a painful death because I'm a little bit of a baby, but but whatever comes, however it comes, whatever comes, it's up to God. It's up to God and I can't change it and I can't uh, prevent it and uh, we're going to have to ride with the tide and go with the flow as far as what this world's going to bring upon the body of Christ because this world hates us. We love them. We don't love what they're doing, but we love the people because God loves them and Jesus calls us to love them. So that's your preparation. That's the preparation that you need uh, to be making in these last days before the tribulation so that you can go through it without trying to save your life because Jesus said those who try to save their life will lose their lives. And those who lose their lives for my sake will save them. So try to put that little bit in your heart today. With regard to fear, what's interesting is that the, I heard a rumor that the, that do not fear or words to that effect are in the Bible 365 times. That's one for every day of the year. Do not fear. It says it for many times. Amen. And, and if you're having trouble with fear, turn off the news. Turn it off. Just turn it off. Jesus said if, you're, if your hand, right hand causes you to sin, cut it off. Cut it off. So cut off the news because if you're walking around in fear instead of faith, that's sinful. Cut, cut the TV off. Cut the computer off. And, and get your focus on the one who could save you. For all eternity that's right we we definitely need to to sometimes handle it sometimes fear gets out of control fear gets out of hand when that happens it can be like a big monster in front of you that that you seem to have no control over but it's not a big monster it really is a, something that can be handled with you and Christ uh, the devil the demons will leave whenever Jesus' name is spoken. This is in the word. Devil will flee when you resist him. evil and you resist, resist him. resist him with the word, he will flee. Fear is of the devil. It's part of the demonic oppression. And it and it will yep. leave with with the name of Jesus. So amen. There's, there's a tool, one of the swords that we have. Yep. So. Amen. You're going you're gonna to need every bit of the armor of God. And if you don't know what that is, just go to Ephesians 6 and read all about it. Read all about it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like... We're, we're, we're giving you <clears throat> tools to prep for the evil times ahead. And th this is true prepping that will save you. It won't, might not save your life on this earth. That's, that's not the goal. But it will save your eternal soul. And that is the goal. This is how you be joyful in the worst of times. We just pray that you'll be able to. We sur surely do. We sincerely love our unseen audience, whether it be one or more. We are not professional, but we are sincere. We truly uh, live what we say. Amen. Even I had wonderful time today uh, iron sharpening iron <laughs> and it was uh, a strange day the enemy was testing us uh, I, he was pitting us against one another and you have got to maybe that's a subject for another day but we'll yeah. touch on it briefly you've got to learn to recognize who's behind it all to recognize your enemy and what he's up to because he's very sneaky and he's very wicked and he will try anything and I, we just had a day the first half of our day where we kept misunderstanding each other and not not hearing the lord 
not hearing the Lord, but hearing our own internal noise. True. I'll just call it True. noise. And when we when we stopped and said, wait a minute, wait a minute, there's something fishy, something stinky going on here, and it's it's not about us. There's someone who's trying to cause us mm-hmm. to uh, um, well conf- irritate one another yeah. and confuse us. And we just we just called him out. We just called him out and asked the Lord. We got humble before God and each other and said, "Help us, Lord, get on track here," because uh, we, s- we are each other's best friends and we, we and we need each other and we keep each other focused on the Lord. We can't afford to let Satan come in with his trickery and dis- and distract us and get us on a wrong path. I'd say that uh, sometimes when things seem the worst is when God does the most. Yeah. It's possible that, that mighty shifts were taking place in each one of us today that God knew we could handle and knew we would turn to Him and knew we would have victory. Um, I, I do feel that uh, when things are going real smooth, sometimes we may think all oh, everything's hunky-dory, but not much may be happening as far as spiritual growth. But but when depression or or irritation comes, be sure to turn and build that faith muscle, build that mu- muscle of of love and muscle of of determination to to go with the word and to and to remember who our boss is. You know. That's right. Our boss is God. He's our boss and he's our daddy and he helps us see things as they really are. And uh, I just love him so much. And I hope you do too. We do. We both love him very much. And that's what makes for a good marriage too, is that we're on the same page spiritually. And uh, so that really helps. If you're struggling in your marriage, your your enemy is not your, your marital partner your your enemy is not your husband or your wife your enemy is satan and he comes in he comes in and um does his dirty work and you've got to say i see you devil i see you satan i see your hand in this and i want no part of you and go to your spouse and say i love you I love you. That goes a long way. Well, I think we've about covered it. It's been a a great little session, don't you think? Well, I do. And it it can be, uh, we could go on forever, to tell you the truth, uh, rambling this way and that in the Word and in our lives. Uh, But yeah, it it, it God's Word excites us so much. We never get tired of talking about Him and His Word. That's right. So, but we'll we'll save some for the next session. Yeah, let's do that. (laughs) God bless you all. And may he keep you safe in him. We like to wave. And you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. God bless.